Happy Thursday, everyone. So this week, I was going to talk about careers and the idea of a perfect versus an imperfect career path. And then I actually got a message from somebody pretty close to me earlier on. And the topic that they asked me about and what they were kind of reaching out to me about made me think of a slightly different play on careers, I suppose. And actually, it doesn't matter what you do, in all honesty. The question I want to ask everyone today is, what do you do when you have a bad day? I've got a bad week. What is that? How do you handle that? Because I think that affects everyone, no matter what you do. The first thing I wanted to say around that, and I think the most important thing, is actually if you're having a bad day, you're genuinely not alone. Um, it'd be remiss of me not to say, please reach out to anyone. Like myself, you've probably got a network, a tribe, family, strangers, anyone. I think are, are genuinely people that have probably been through the same challenges that you're having at this moment in time. The second thing relates to the first. We live for, uh, I don't know, uh, 80 years. And a problem is a moment in time or a pain or a challenge. Maybe elongated, maybe short, but essentially they're past, they go. And the people around you have probably been through them. They've got experience on how to handle that. So again, just take stock of the fact that it could just be a moment in time. It's something I really have to reflect on. The world's not going to implode. And then the final thing I think that I want to let out there is to actually understand how do you handle stuff? How does my network handle the bad days? What do you do to proactively prevent that? What is your tricks of way out of it? So for me, one of the things I've found over the last few years is running. Like I find running like I hate it. I love it all at the same time. It gives me a lot of headspace. It allows me to just drift off into a dream world. Um, I've started practicing yoga, like 30 days with Adrian for anyone that's done yoga on YouTube on an evening, which also gives me that same kind of slight bit of headspace. But the most important thing for me and the way that I go from a bad day to a good day is speaking to people. My better half is probably the person that I bend the ear of the most. She she gets all of my problems offloaded to her and then she generally distills them and plays them back and you realise it's not that bad. But that can also be said for work colleagues, friends as well. I make sure that I, I openly share most of my problems with other people because I think that's the only way I can um, manage that. So all I would say is, make sure you share those. <clears throat> and I'd ask, I'd ask the community, right? There's, there's professionals out there. I used to work with a guy uh, called Steve and I'll, I'll put him in the comments. He runs a business and he was, he was always focused around actually how do we make people think better? Wellness, like how do you proactive care, self-care, avoid burnout? There's products out there. Um, there's so much out there that you can consume, speak to people, engage with. I, I don't, don't feel too insulated. But that's my view of the world. Let me know what you think on what you do when you're just having a bad day. It could just be as simple as getting a coffee or taking your dog for a walk, having a chat with your partner, going and spending some time with your kids. Let me know. It'd be good to see it in the, in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you. So have a great week and I will speak to you next week.